Hello, this is the Brassic Gamer, and uh, this video today uh, I'd like to introduce to you Bertha. Uh, Bertha arrived yesterday, <coughs> and um, yeah, she's a big girl. Um, I mean, obviously, it's a server, it's, uh, it's an HP server, and it is a TC3100. Um, and yeah, I suppose the servers go, you know, it's fairly, uh, fairly hefty. I mean, if we compare to a standard ATX case, uh, you've got, it's a bit longer, marginally taller, definitely wider. And see the bezel there is quite different. Um, this, this should have seen the box this came in. It's huge. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a bit conspicuous to say the least, but the shipping was free. This cost me £25, which I think is pretty good considering what's under the hood, <clears throat> which we'll take a look at in a minute. Um, bit of a bonus item because um, I've got a load of data on DDS tapes that I haven't been able to access for years because my previous drive died. So I bought this to replace it, which was in sold as is auction on eBay. Um, fortunately it was only 99p and the shipping wasn't too much either, but <laughs> the I can't get it recognised by any computer or any card, despite doing all of the dip switches and jumper settings. I've taken it apart and I've looked at it and there's no damage or anything, so God knows what's wrong with it. Um, clearly it died <clears throat> um, before it was sold because there's tape stuck in there so it must have died mid job or something um, I guess I'll never get the tape out you can manually remove it anyway there is a, a DDS drive in here and I will be removing that to go into my regular server so I can access those drives so that's, that's a bit of a bonus um, what else do we have in here uh, if we remove the front panel we can see the uh, the bays for the SCSI drives and there are two I think it's two nine gigabyte uh, SCSI drives in here uh, let's have a look Seagate Cheetah um, can't see it on the label some of these drives don't have it on the label you can tell from the model number usually though I think it's a nine gigabyte drive. So I'll keep one of those in here to install an operating system, probably Windows 2000, maybe NT server, I'm not sure. And it does support 2003 server as well, uh, which I'm currently using. So that's quite nice. So uh, let's take a quick look inside. Because it's got this massive panel. And I love how on the panel it's got all of the important technical information easily accessible on there so diagnostic board and the LEDs and location of things on the board and if we look inside we can see we've got some PCI X slots and that's the SCSI controller that's actually got an i960 CPU on it to handle all of the data transfers and take the load off the CPU and yes look a spare socket because in that socket, well you'll see in a minute what's in there, is pretty much the only reason I bought this machine. Um, got a gig of RAM in two 512 ECC sticks. Um, I think it's got SCSI CD-ROM as well. So there's built-in SCSI on the motherboard and there's a separate SCSI controller for the drive bays. And um, yeah, it works. It is if I turn the power on. This thing is got, as many servers do, it's got this big old fan which uh, goes full speed when you first turn it on. Check this out. It's quite loud. Give it a few seconds to uh, initialize. There's the drive spinning up and the fan drops out, which is nice. So there we go, that is the reason I got this machine. 
1.4 gigahertz Pentium 3, which can only mean one thing. It is a Tualatin CPU in there. And I happen to have a spare. So this will be my first dual CPU system. Certainly dual CPU retro system. I mean, now we have different, you know, we have multiple cores. So screw multiple CPUs. <clears throat> um, and as you can see, dual ready system initialized for single processor. And then it's scanning for SCSI devices and stuff. So that's how far we've got so far. Um, and I'm looking forward to chucking a an operating system on this and just, just playing around with it really. Um, it's got an 80, uh, I think it's a Rage 128, something like that. Um, so yeah, play around with this, see how it goes, but I just wanted to do a little video to introduce it and because um, there's not many of these around anymore and they tend to go straight to the recyclers, which is where I got this from actually, so I'm surprised they sold it on. It's a bit of a clean up. I'm going to I'm going to give Bertha a bath, so to speak, because she's a bit filthy. She has retired recently, to to be fair. Um, but yeah, there we go. That is my new dual to a Latin Pentium 3 server. Thanks for watching.